Darren from Isotonic Studios and today I'm here to present you with the Modular Series XL. Probably our final update for Live 10. Um, the Modular Series XL consists of Follow, uh, which comes in a number of varieties, Follow Scene, uh, Follow Scene XL, Follow Scene LE, Follow Clip, Follow Clip LE. Uh, we've got two different looper devices that control the playhead of the clip that's playing on a track and we've got an isotonic effects um, device that works on a buffer kind of thing to enable you to do slicing, stuttering and all various things like that. In this video though we're just going to look at follow scene and this was derived out of a desire for people that wanted to have follow actions but for scenes. Here I've got a set set up which is a uh, it's a tribute to Ski Oakenfell's um, reconstruction of Adamski's Killer. Now, as you can see, as, as most sets will be, they're set up a, of clips and there's certain scenes that don't have clips in. So the traditional method of working with follow actions won't actually work because once I've moved past these three clips, there's a blank space and I'd either have to fill that with an empty clip and set a follow action and I'd have to do that for all of the tracks. So there couldn't be any gaps effectively. Plus it'd take me ages to do so. How follow scene works, if we look at the track that it's contained, is it has a number of clips. Uh, these are all set to the length of the scene. And the device itself reads the clip that's playing. And what it does is it effectively triggers the next scene a millisecond or two before the end of the clip. So you have various options of what it does next and it works from left to right. You can trigger that scene again and all of these buttons in fact are MIDI mappable. So you could set up with a, a couple of buttons on say a MIDI uh, fighter twister to click to play that scene again if the, the crowd were really loving that particular phrase. or you can set it to next, which is probably the most traditional, so it works down your set. You can play the last uh, scene in the block of the, the current block of clips, or define uh, the next uh, scene to play by name. And as you can see here, this menu is populated with the names of the scenes um, that I've got on the right hand side of the screen. Just a point though, if you do rename your scenes at any point, you can reset the device by pressing the isotonic logo at the bottom. It'll turn orange, go back to white, and then it'll pick up your new names. You can also use relative. So whatever clip is playing, you can dial in a positive or negative uh, value. So it'll, it'll jump one or two or three or go back up your set as well. Or you could use previous, which will work back upwards in your set. The first, similar to the last, will just play the first uh, scene represented by the block of clips. But for some randomization, you can use the any functionality, which will play any scene uh, that is represented by the block of clips, and you can choose to include the current scene or exclude it as well. When people have been using this in large big sets, they tend to find that they work through a song and then they'll have a pause and that's where cue next comes in. You can allow cue next to basically line up the next scene ready to play and you can let the clips continue to play out or the transport continue to play or stop in both cases. The chosen you can't actually select and that's where things start to get a little bit more advanced and that's the reason why this is now the XL version of follow scene. If you press the expand button, what will happen when I trigger this first scene, uh, let's go with intro, is the clip name options picked up from the clip, so anything after FA, follow action, will then populate effectively what we have here. And what I can do with those, all again MIDI mappable, I can choose with the orange buttons that that will be the scene that plays when the trigger action occurs, or I can choose to trigger it immediately uh, observing the clip launch quantization of that particular scene. There are a couple of other options in here with regards to launch sync, which we're working on uh, a new version for Live 10 at the moment, and you also have a floating window. 
So the floating window, which much bigger view of things, will give, uh, you know, you could put it on a separate screen and have the drummer see uh, effectively what's going on in the set. Um, we also have that same view on Mirror, which is the application for iOS from Cycling74. So you can have a, an ad hoc network with your computer and actually see the display of follow on your iPad as well. With regards to the triggering itself, you have the choice of uh, clip end. So when naturally that clip comes to an end, you can choose to bypass looping. If a clip's looping, it will never finish, but you may want to have that scene play a number of times before you move on, in which case dial in the number of loops before the action takes place. For unwarped clips, you can choose to use time, uh, so set in hours, minutes and seconds when the next scene will play, uh, particularly useful if you're doing an art installation or something on that uh, particular regard. We also have clip stop. Um, Effectively, as soon as the clip stops, it will trigger the next action. Um, mainly used in the follow clip device, which we'll cover in another video, for resetting parameters on dummy clips, for example. This final part down here, we have the manual trigger, which will allow us to re-trigger the current scene, or the chosen one, as in what the next follow action would be. And we can also choose, if I just select a particular uh, C, uh, let's pick strings, is to cue the selected scene. So if you've got a controller that's moving your scene highlight and focus, you can do that from there as well. We'll cover in the other videos how to modify your settings using clip envelopes and the push to where everything's mapped and you can see on the screen. But for now, just a brief introduction to follow scene Excel part of the new modular series Excel from us here at Isotonic Studios. Thanks for watching. Cheers.